Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Halal Times YouTube channel. Today we brought to you another important topic which could help you grow your business in your target markets. The topic of today's discussion is can influencer marketing help small halal brands? Do you think that small halal brands could get the help of influencers to market and sell their products in their target markets? There are quite a few companies here and there offering influencer marketing to help businesses of all types. But is it worth it? Should you spend time and money to market your halal products through influencers? If yes, who these influencers should be? Being a small halal business, you may want to ask yourself a few questions like the one which I'm going to list up here today. For example, What's your marketing strategy to promote your products currently? Were you going to sell your products? And how are people going to find out about your halal brand? Last but not the least, what marketing strategies or what type of influencers are you going to use to grow your halal business in your target markets? We hear a lot of people talking about the importance of influencer marketing for small halal brands so that they could start selling almost immediately. Many people tend to think that getting influencers on your side is a guaranteed way to success. It may not be entirely wrong to think that way. We have seen quite a few examples where influencers like Michael Jordan and George Clooney have been used to market various products successfully. Let's not forget, in most of these cases, very large brands use these influencers to increase their sales massively. But the question is, can you afford A-list influencers to promote your small halal brand? Not everybody may be able to do so due to budgetary constraints, we guess. Before we go any further, we just wanted to discuss a bit about the size of the influencer marketing industry in the world. While access to A-list celebrities is beyond the reach of most small businesses, further down the food chain, there is more chance of collaboration. The influencer marketing industry was worth $13.8 billion in 2021, up to $4.1 billion, compared with the amount in 2020. And that is the data which we got from uh, influencer benchmark report. So how do brands use influencers, particularly small halal brands? How can they pursue this marketing strategy to grow their businesses in their target markets? You will find there is some low hanging fruit, but after that initial stage, it gets more difficult. You must continue to scour the internet for the best creators. You don't need to worry so much about your subscriber count, but rather the engagement and views rate, view, views rates, as this is much more important and will help your results in the long run. The ability to reach a large targeted audience who trust the influencer's opinion could be quite transformative for your business. The ability to reach a large targeted audience who trust the influencer's opinion could be try quite transformative for your business. Just start slowly and give cuts of meat, for example, if you're in the halal meat business, cuts of meat to content creators who would invariably post YouTube videos of themselves in their back gardens. And of course, they could become influencers for your business if they give the message rightly. What will you get as a result? you will get increased traffic to your website and uplift in sales. You know, the problem here is it could be a success story for a lot of businesses, but not everybody, not every business is like this. It's possible that you may not be able to get uh, increased sales as a result of using influencers. And in most of small brands, in case of most of small brands, it happens like this. As a result, they see this approach as being more relevant for bigger companies. 
using influencer marketing could be a great strategy for larger brands who have better profit margins, tons of stock, and multiple products. They can offer more attractive packages to influencers that smaller brands just cannot afford. It's a numbers game, and you're up against it from the start. This is a difficult situation to navigate for small businesses. It's hard to make demands if you cannot afford to pay. But with no power of enforcement, companies can feel exploited when expectations are not met properly. This is where authenticity is key. Finding people who love what you do and would use your products regardless of whether they get paid or not. That is the important question for you. So what do you think could be the way out for this? How can you grow your halal brand, which is small, but you would like to reach out to ever larger audiences in your target market? As mentioned earlier, the success rate for influencer-led marketing efforts for small brands has been less than perfect. The best way for you to find other ways to grow your small halal business could be to market your halal products by engaging only selected influencers, evaluating their performance on the sales numbers, and adopting other marketing techniques as well to grow your halal brand. One way to do so could be to advertise your halal products through niche sites such as ours, which have the power to influence the buying behavior of potential customers in your target markets. Another important way for you to promote your halal brand would be to hire Generation Z folks. Generation Z is shaping our digital media offerings. This generation is starting businesses within their teenage years. It's time to recognize the power of Gen Z. If you're serious about influencer marketing, you must take the challenge head on and start looking for the best of marketing efforts to start growing your halal business by using, using these Gen Z influencers who know how to uh, market any product in the digital age and time. Thank you so much. And inshallah, shortly, we will be able to bring another episode from the Halal Times YouTube channel. And inshallah, I hope to see you then. Thank you. Salam alaikum.